With Video Studio, you can easily add multiple overlay tracks to create dynamic video montages and add great effects to your videos. You can overlay pictures or videos over your main video and add transparency, borders, or use fun mask frames. You can also use chroma key with green screen footage to create special effects. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with overlays to create more compelling videos. Let's get started. Make sure you have the video you want to work with added to your timeline. From here, we can add our first overlay track. From the library panel, you can drag the video or picture you would like to use onto overlay track 1. You will see that the video has now been added on top of your main video. From the preview pane, you can reposition the video to your desired placement. You can also resize the video by dragging the orange boxes. To add a second overlay track, right-click on the timeline and select Track Manager. Then select the number of overlay tracks you would like to add and click OK. Now I'm going to add a second overlay to my video. This time I'm going to use a still image and can drag the image from the library to overlay track 2. To make more adjustments to these overlays, double-click on the overlay on the timeline to bring up the Options panel. From here, click on Mask and Chroma Key. In this panel, you can make some adjustments to the selected overlay. You can adjust the transparency by adjusting the arrows to your desired level. You can also choose to add a border and select a border color. Adjusting the arrows up or down will determine the thickness of the overlay border. Now I'm going to click on my other overlay to make some more adjustments. This time I want to add a fun mask frame. I'll click on Mask and Chroma Key, then I'm going to check the Apply Overlay Options box and select Mask Frame. From here I can scroll down and choose the frame I want to use. We have provided some free mask frames for you to use. You can access them by clicking the link in the description and going to the Discovery Center to download. As I already have them downloaded, I'll click on the plus icon and browse to where they are on my system. I'll use this one here. I've made the adjustments to my overlays, so now I can preview my project. I'm going to add a quick transition before each overlay by clicking on the Transitions tab and dragging a transition in front of the overlay on the timeline. Now you can see that this creates a nice, smooth transition for the overlays popping up over your video. Using Chroma Key, we can splice two different video streams together to create one single video using elements from both. For example, if we have a weather broadcaster presenting in front of a green screen, we can replace the green background with a map or other background. I have some green screen footage of a couple hiking, and I want to add a nice mountain backdrop. I'm going to start by dragging the background I want to use onto the video track on the timeline. From here, I can drag the green screen footage onto the overlay track 1. I want this overlay to be larger, so I'm going to right-click on the overlay on the preview pane and select Original Size. Now it fits the screen nicely. From here, I'm going to make adjustments on the timeline to make sure the background clip matches the length of the overlay. Now I can double-click on the overlay track on the timeline and click on Mask and Chroma Key. I'll select Apply Overlay Options and make sure Chroma Key is selected. I'm going to use the color dropper icon to select the color of the overlay mask in the preview pane. As you can see by previewing the result, all of the green background has been hidden from the overlay, and it appears as though the hikers really are in the mountains. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along, free samples of mask frames, and find other helpful tutorials for Corel Video Studio.